I'm Woody, by the way. I didn't say my name. Goody? Woody. Woody? Yeah. Woody. It's like Toy Story, you know. Uh, that kind of vibe. Do you like that name? Yeah, I really like it, actually. Yeah. I always ask people, like, if they like their names and if they always have. Because, like, I grew up hating my yeah. name. Like, hating it. Like, I would have done anything to change it. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's give it up for Billie Eilish, everybody. Woo! <laughs> hey, Billie. Hey, how are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay, right. good. Um, let's jump straight into it. Wish You Were Gay. Love that song. <laughs> Thank you. Sheesh. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us about the story behind it. Okay. Well, first off, I want it to be so clear that it's so not supposed to be an insult. Like, yeah. I feel like it's it's been a little bit misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. And I feel like... Like, I tried so hard to not make it in any way offensive or make you feel like you... Whatever. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole idea of the song is it's kind of a joke. It's kind of like, I'm an ass and you don't love me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you don't love me because you don't love me. And that's the only reason. And I wish that you loved me because you yeah. didn't love fucking girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it could be the opposite way. It yeah, could be a sure. girl interested in a girl and maybe that girl likes girls also but she doesn't like her back mm. and then it's like, well damn, I wish you were straight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it could be exactly the other way. I wish you were straight so that you didn't like me because you actually like boys. You didn't not yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I didn't get the offensiveness of it. It's just a too. joke. I think it's like, been like blown out of proportion. Yeah. So are you still friends with that guy? Then? Yes, I yeah. am. He's a sweetheart. I love him. Oh, okay, cool. Because I heard that he stood you up one time for he like did. two hours. He did. Now, firstly, why did you wait for two hours? That's crazy. Hey, because I have a good heart. <laughs> and I really expect the best out of people. Yes. But, you know, he... I mean, he, he, you know, he came out to me a couple yeah. months after I wrote that song, which is kind of insane. Yeah. But it was really like, it, you know, I was, the song was obviously a joke mm -hmm. and it wasn't really, or it wasn't, it's not a joke. I don't know how to say, it's like, it's just supposed to be like, a way I'm of selfish, making, yeah. I'm an ass. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like making light of the situation. It is, you know, it is. And way, it's like, like, it's like, just like. You know, I don't want to take my L, so I'm just going to pretend that you, mm -hmm. you you didn't just reject me. Well, I loved it. Thank I also you. loved your Bury a Friend video. It's got uh, a very, like, Marilyn Manson, nightmarish mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. So tell me about how you kind of came up with a creative concept for that. Um, That one was really influenced by a lot of, like, horror movies and, like... Yeah. Which a ones? Uh, the Babadook was, oh, like, yes. the main yeah. one. I feel like that that video would not exist if it wasn't for the Babadook. Mm -hmm. um, the Babadook and like elements of um, God, this one movie that I can't remember the name of, but there's so many visuals in it that are just mm -hmm. so dope. Um, where this kid like fl I don't even know. It's so sick. Um, yeah. And then like a lot of American Horror Story vibes and stuff. And, oh like, yeah, okay. I just love creepy stuff. Yeah. What's your favorite <laughs> season of American Horror Story? Oh my God, probably Murder House. Murder House. Yeah. Okay. I'm Murder like House or Coven. Yeah, Coven's my favorite. Yeah. Like, and after that one, I kind of just like, I yeah, couldn't really get into the others as much. Them. Kind yeah. of fell into love, yeah. like in love with it, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I really liked Murder House because Tate and like... Yes, yeah, Tate. Tate. That's what you need to say. That's all I gotta Tate. say. <laughs> Tate. I mean, just that, also that character was like so... Oh my God. Oh my God. That, yeah. Oh, I love that season. So what was it like filming the video? Because obviously in the video, people are like touching your face and shit. Like... Mm. That's not nice. <laughs> like, how how long did you have to do that for? A minute. And also, the thing is, like, I'm such a I'm such a dip. I'm like, because I like to do my own stunts, basically stunts. stunts. And so, like, you know, for when for um, when the party's over, I had the like tubes in my eyes, squirting black stuff into my eyes. That was real. That was real. It that wasn't was real. CGI. It was not CGI. That was real. The spider crawling out of my mouth for you should see me in a crown. That was real. No. Yeah. See, he, you don't even know. No. I do it all myself. Yeah, because everyone just assumes, ah, uh, they've got they've got I know. budget. <laughs> I know. I could. Hey, I could. I could go through way less. <laughs> and then just have everything be CGI. And then like but the needles in the back? That, okay, here's the thing. That's what I'm getting to, which is that like, that was my idea. And that I I like, I drew that in my notebook and I was like, I want it to look exactly like this. I had that idea forever. And that was also me like, I want to, I want to show my skin in a video for the first time ever. And so yeah. I was like, I'm going to show my back because that's mm. such a weird place yeah. to start. And I want a bunch of people to put big needle syringes in my back. We were having like one of the final 
meetings with the director and like choreographers and stuff and he you know we were talking about the needles and stuff and i was like i'm gonna be able to do that right and he was like actually that's the one part that we can't well, because if you put needles in your back yeah. and squirt black uh, uh, into them, you you die. <laughs> so I would have died. Would have been sick, so. But I, I really, like, I kind of had a fit. I was like, you're not going to let me put needles in my back? Mm -hmm. I just said, like, <laughs> like my, my creative team was there. They were like, Billy, listen. <laughs> they were like, it's the one part. We can do everything else. <laughs> but, you know, that whole video, I had full eye black contacts. Yeah. All those people were really hitting me and, like, mm. all that stuff. But... I don't know. I like being like manhandled, so ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't bad for me. It yeah, was yeah, it yeah. was actually really fun. You mentioned your notebook, like mm. the diary that you kept, and I saw like a video on your YouTube channel where you kind of go through the lyrics in the song, and that's where you put everything. Yeah. Um, is that like literally everything that you've ever created has come from that notebook? Pretty much. Yeah. Without like a couple. Yeah. It's like. It's kind of in my whole brain, and yeah. like I even, I even have dreams that I just draw the dreams like the next day, and like that's what a lot of Barry Friend came from was these creatures that I kept dreaming about. I feel like a lot of people are like, we should, you know, we should display that notebook eventually and like have people look through it. But mm, yeah. some, <laughs> well, I was gonna uh, say, you know, what else is in there? There's some stuff sounds, in there, yeah, because it's not just lyrics, it's not just drawings. Mm. It's really like everything I think in that notebook, and you carry it with you all the time. No. Oh, okay. No, because it's way too. No, it's really it's way too precious. It's yeah. like all the original lyrics for like Copycat and I don't mm -hmm. want to be you anymore and like old songs, like the first songs that I ever wrote and like. Oh, okay, so it's yeah, belly really ache first lyrics. Yeah, yeah, a lot and a lot of songs that never came out and stuff and like stuff that hasn't come out yet and like yeah. pretty much all the album is on there. Like, so I the, <laughs> the reason though I used to take it everywhere. My tour at the beginning of last year, which was three months, I took it. And I left it in a windowsill in Berlin in a hotel. And on the drive, we were driving to like Milan or something. Mm -hmm. And on the drive in the spinner, I was like, <gasps> and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I left, I left my notebook in the windowsill in Berlin <laughs> and I had somebody from the label go and get it and ship it home and then i had somebody go and like put it in a specific part of my house <laughs> like oh my God. So it, it, was, it was still there it, yes it, it was, was a big deal it was a big big deal so How that was it there for though was it just like like hours oh okay it wasn't days because yeah. i think they would have <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> yeah i think they would have done something i was gonna say if you'd ever lost that no that i can't that's crazy. why i don't take it anymore because yeah. that really f i can't i would have a fit so it's in a safe in a cave <laughs> right. in a mysterious a location cave. Yeah, in a cave. Yeah, it's in a cave the safest place it's in a cave, a cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but you do a lot of uh writings and drawings on your bedroom wall right yes now my parents would have killed me if i'd done that but I, did the, but see i get that yeah but if you put a blanket in front of it uh, nobody would know it was disguised it's disguised yeah, okay because i was gonna say like surely if people come over to your house and they read it but if it's really personal right. do you want them to read it like that would be only like, a very small amount of people okay have have read that wall how many how many are we talking mm, like Four, five, Four. maybe. Okay, that's a very small number. Yeah, and okay. and the thing is, like, it's it's hidden. You don't know it's there unless yeah. I mean, unless you watch my interviews. But if you're coming over <laughs> to hang out with me and you watch all my interviews, I'm not trying to have you come over and hang out with me <laughs> like, a little bit. Um, you know, because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, your um, stuff. <laughs> it's my stuff. And um, but it is interesting. But yeah. it's like it's really like a thing that I don't I don't want to share yeah. unless I really want you to see you know yeah and it's easy because there's a big louis vuitton blanket over it so <laughs> if i just don't want people to see i would just put the little louis yeah, down it's fine we good <laughs> <laughs> um let's talk about the album obviously it's coming out at the end of the month yes. um what was it like trying to put together the final track listing what oh, was yeah. that a hard process was that easy like how was um it? it was mixed the second half of the album was like it was kind of the middle that was hard because mm. the the ending of the album is like i had i've been planning that to be the set list for or the the track list for since the beginning of oh, making really? the album yeah you had like a kind of yeah. vision of how you wanted yeah to i know. knew i wanted to start with bad guy i knew i wanted zany to be next and that was like all i knew from the beginning and then 
then of course we had crown already out so it was kind of hard to decide where that was going to go since people already have heard it i didn't want to make it like the first one because then it's like well we've heard this you know what i'm saying i hate when people put out albums and it's just like all songs they've already put out yeah i hate that you kind of want the new thing but then that's a lot of pressure on artists to constantly yeah but that's your job so (laughs) um tell it like it is i mean (laughs) um but the ending of the album i wanted it to sound like a sentence so the whole like second half of the album we had a song that we cut because it was only the title of a song and we never wrote it uh what was the title it was it was called i don't know i just wish i wasn't breathing that was uh, the title of the song. Sounds very chill. I know. <laughs> um, I wrote a little verse to it, but we never got around to actually making the full thing. It was going to be, um, I don't know, I just wish I wasn't breathing. Listen before I go. I love you. Goodbye. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> a, little, a little dark oh. for the situation. We, um, no, yeah, it was it was a lot. So we never mm. we never finished that one, but the ending of the album, Listen Before I Go, I Love You, Goodbye. Mm. It just, that's such a, a raw statement, I feel mm. like. Like, you know, you're about to, you know, it could, it could literally apply to anything. You're leaving, you're leaving someone, you know, someone's dying, you're dying, whatever the fuck, anything. Mm-hmm. And, you know, listen before I go. Just listen. Yeah. I love you, goodbye. Anything. So it's really up for interpretation, but I just really like when albums sound like a sentence. Yeah, you know, I get that, and it must be so annoying that people mention your age all the time. Sorry, but mm-hmm. you're still so young. So, do you feel like you've landed on your musical identity now? Or is it just gonna keep? Evo- it's gonna keep, pe- it's gonna keep evolving. Yeah, I mean, like, like I don't, yeah. I don't want to stay the same. Jesus yeah. Christ, I can't imagine if your favorite artist stayed exactly the same as when they were be- the begin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and people are like, I miss this Avril. I'm like, yeah, but. You cannot. You don't have to miss that. You could literally go back and listen to that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Tyler t- tweeted something about that, and he was like, "People are always saying like, I miss the old blank. I miss the old era of the." Blah, blah. And he was like, "Bro, you. The thing about music is you can type in what you miss, and you can listen to it. <laughs> you don't have yeah. to miss it. It's right there. You can go back and watch all the old Avril Lavigne videos, mm. all all the old Tyler I videos. Do. I so do I. Let's do it right now. I <laughs> honestly, I really <laughs> like to. It cheer me up a lot. <laughs> Look, before you go, we like to give out presents on Pop Buzz. <gasps> and I saw in an interview that you really want a horse. It's like, this is like, this is like if a. If you give me a horse right now. Uh, we don't have a real one, but we've got a little one for you. <laughs> yeah, just as a little oh. memento for us. So there you go. Oh my God. Horse, I but... used to collect these. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to name it, Billy? <laughs> It's so beautiful. <laughs> I literally used to collect these. I would go to Tom's Toys and I would get these. <sighs> well, it's yours. It's you mine. know, enjoy that horse. I wish you and the horse the best. Do you want to give me a real one next time? Uh, next time I'll try and get okay, a real horse. Cool. It just wouldn't fit through the door. It's really <laughs> awkward. And then there's the lift and the uh, stairs. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Billy, it's been so lovely talking to you. Good luck with the album. Thank you. Um, yeah, see you soon. Thank you. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>